What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and welcome to part one of my GC run with Greninja. Now, a lot of these mods are pretty common, and that's for a reason. I just wanted to use Greninja, so I slotted it in in a slot that I thought it could work with. With Loaded Dice Water Shuriken, you have a plus one priority move that hits four or five times, and so that's great for triggering our Chaladon Stamina or Annihilate's Rage Fist. And then the rest of the team is Grimmsnarl with screens to keep Annihilate and our Chaladon safe, Sinistro with Hospitality and Life Dew to keep Annihilate and our Chaladon healthy, and Pelipper. I don't know if I love this set on Pelipper. I didn't get enough practice games where Pelipper came out, but I'm using choice specs because I like the damage rolls it has against Golden Go. And I'm also using Terra Blast Ground, which could blow up a Golden Go eventually. I sure hope I use that at some point to do that. Uh, but if not, it's fine. Now back to Greninja. We have Terra Ghost to avoid Fake Out. We have Taunt to stop Redirectors and Spore and Trick Room. We have Haze. That's our goal. That's our not Golden Go. Well, it is, it is useful against Golden Go, but it's also useful against Don Dozo if I were to run into that. I'm hoping I just don't. And Icy Wind is the move I went with for last. Greninja doesn't do much damage. I tested Hydro Cannon, I tested Water Pledge, I tested Dark Pulse. It just wasn't doing damage anyway, so I went with just another tech move in Icy Wind. This combo of Icy Wind plus Specs Pelipper, this Pelipper is max speed, so it's actually faster than a lot of stuff like Sneasler. And the Icy Wind combo can also go with Pelipper to make it faster than Golden Ghost in order to get that combo off. And it's just helpful in general as my only speed control other than Sinistra's Trick Room. But anyways, I hope you're excited for this. I've been wanting to use Greninja for a long time, and I finally will. Let's get into it. Okay, very first match is versus someone below 1500. That's not great for points. And it's the standard team of Pult and Sneasler with the Magmar adaptation. They also have Sneasler, Primarina, Rillaboom. Against this, in practice, I've found that Annihilate, Grim, Sinistra, Archaladon is what I want to do. So unfortunately, game one is not a Greninja match. I can't do anything to Primarina. Rillaboom gives it trouble. Redirection from Magmar makes self water shuriken a lot less useful. Yeah. Greninja will come out eventually. This is not the one. And if I just see this team over and over and over, in practice I have basically a perfect win rate against this, but, you know, I'm probably gonna get crit, because it's the GC, and then I'm gonna get Dire Claw slept, because it's the GC, and then the Magmar is gonna be Flame Body instead of Vital Spirit, because I don't have any sleep moves anyway, and I'm gonna get burned. Ah, oh, cool Zorak card. Love it. Okay. Okay, we're off to a good start with trainer cards, at least. Here we go with Rillaboom Sneezler. That is fine. Are you Grassy Seed? No, okay. So what I do here, typically, I'm gonna get faked out on Grim and probably Dire Claws, so I just wanna bulk up my Annihilate and bring in our Chaladon. That's how we usually play this lead. It's a little different. Sneasler Rillaboom isn't exactly what I usually go up against on the lead in practice. We'll see how it goes. The Lumberry on Annihilate is partially to have a better Sneasler. Let's go our Chaladon the Shivering. Alright, thank you for the defense boost on my arch. Now, also Dire Claw that to try to stop me from getting screens. Thank you very much. And free ball down. Now, I probably give up that defense boost because it's not that important. Uh, do, would I want to tear a grass? I really don't want to tear a grass my Archaladon right here. Nah. I think I can protect Annihilate. Bring in Grim. This is how I usually play it. This is the normal formula. Because now they're going to close combat and wood hammer. Grimstar will take the close combat just fine. Wood hammer 
will get blocked, and then I can put up Reflect or Parting Shot or something. And then Annihilate is all set. A Withdraw from Rillaboom, that's different. Glad Imperio. Oh! Okay, King Gambit's here. That's cool too. That's three physical attackers. I'm putting Reflect up for sure. And a Protect from Sneezler. Oh, if I had gone for another bulk up, that would have been awesome. So what do I do? Do I force the Terra on the King Gambit? Or do I just Rage Fist and Reflect? I think just Rage Fist Reflect is fine. Yeah. What, no Terra? You would have let me plus one Drain Punch that thing? Okay, maybe next time. Here's a close combat trying to call the swap again. I never do it twice. And they're poison touch. Eh, that's about what I expected. If you're not gonna be grassy seed unburdened, you're probably gonna be that. Big damage from Rage Fist. Then we can hit by Cow Cow Cleave. That's fine. Now what, I parting shot the Sneasler and Drain Punch? That seems fun. If I can get Sneasler useless, that would be awesome. Leave it on the field at low health. All it can do is Dire Claw my Annihilate and fish for a status that I, I'll just get rid of immediately. Eh, you want to keep me on the field? Fine. They still haven't used Terra. Do, like, do you know I have a fighting type on the field right now? Are you aware? I'll play around it once, but I'm not going to play around it twice. Yeah, go for the Sucker Punch, thanks! I love that. I'm going to get all that health back anyway, and that's just a stronger Rage Fist. I'm at what, 150 power now? That's enough to blow up the rest of your team. Thank you. Annihilate the Furious is rampaging. I saw the parting shot. Maybe they go for a close combat into Grim this time? Who do you bring out now? Maybe Rillaboom? Rillaboom isn't that great though, since terrain's getting close to ending and Fake Out isn't going to stop my aid. Catapultra. Okay. That I see. I see you. Could this be Ghost Terra Blast? Probably not, and I'd probably live anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and Drain Punch the Sneezler slot. I'm going for Drain Punch instead of Rage Fist just because I take damage and it's gonna be plenty enough. And then I think I should Parting Shot. They did just Protect. Yeah, if I'm gonna swap, it should be Parting Shot. Here's the Terra. Maybe it is Ghost Terra Blast. If it's Dragon Terra, it is Ghost. Ooh. This might hurt. I was wondering if I should protect there. They wouldn't go for Phantom Force here. They might go for close combat though here. Let's bring in Sinistra. And I didn't want to target the Dragapult this turn. Oh, it is Phantom Force. Oh, perfect. I didn't want to target the Dragapult slot because I was worried about Phantom Force. Oh, they did Dire Claw that slot. Sinistra, you good? Nope, you not good. Okay. <laughs> night, night. Well, it's not great that Sinistra just went night, night. <laughs> I could... I could swap Annihilate. I could just stay in and try to take the hit. I could Terra Water and try to remove Rillaboom. That might be a play. 
That's an interesting play, actually. Terra Water here and Rage Fist into the Rillaboom. Doesn't matter what Sinistra clicks, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, because if they like call this in Woodhammer and are faster, because I need to be faster than Modest Caliber. I was really hoping not to go to sleep, because then I could just Rage Powder away and take out the Dragon Ball in the game over. But, no such luck. Okay, that wouldn't have KO'd anyway. Ooh, good call. Very good call. Well done. Well played. And Sinistra still... Okay. You see Rillaboom, then Sinistra, and Speed. Alright. Grim could parting shot something. Well, only the Rillaboom. Reflect is already up. I think I go Arch here. Arch should be able to take just about anything. And I'll swap Sinistra out to heal up the Arch later. Dragon Pulse into the Rillaboom is the best I've got right now. And I Maybe I shouldn't have swapped Grimmsnarl yet. Maybe I should have waited a turn. Because if they just wood hammer here and Phantom Force, then Sinister doesn't give our talent on any healing. Because of course they're going to Phantom Force. They're probably locked in. They have high horsepower. But that doesn't do much of anything. I think we're probably fine. Damage is damage. I'll take it. Thank you for the grass, honestly. That's helping a lot. And Reflect is three whole turns remaining. Alright, let's Dragon Pulse the Dragapult and try to Spirit Break it. I think Grimstar will probably get Wood Hammer here, but I don't want to like risk that the Phantom Forces into Sinistra and lose Sinistra right there. Slide is not nearly enough to take out Grimmsnarl. Phantom Force is. Okay, that's fine. That's A-OK. -okay. So I'm gonna get more healing from the grass, and I'm gonna get healing from Sinistra, and we're gonna be good. One more Dragon Pulse will take out Dragapult. Is this grass done yet? Like, I actually uh, like it, but like, it feels like it's been here for too long. Vitality still works when you're asleep. Long battle for battle one, huh? Two turns of grass left, two turns of reflect left. Okay. So I... I'm only at plus one. So I still Dragon Pulse, the Rilla. And I try to wake up and... do, I guess. Yeah. I don't want to trick room while Dragapult's using Phantom Force. Then I'll move before it and it'll get to come in later. Yeah, going for a crit high horsepower is probably the play here for them. Rage Powder is not going to redirect Rillaboom anyway. I'll probably go for that. Just being a grass type and all. And Sinist just still asleep. Okay. We, to lower the crit chance, we Rage Powder here. Drag, Dragon Pulse the Dragapult. Try to wake up and Rage Powder it. Still asleep, man. Okay, it was Phantom Force into Sinistra anyway. I, that's fine. Even a crit high horsepower, I'm pretty sure doesn't take out our And if you're not getting the crit, you're definitely not KOing. Alright, this is fine. Goodbye, Dragapult. Ooh. 
Did they never even get a Phantom? Did they never even got a Phantom Force into my Archaladon. Probably should have gotten a Phantom Force before you started stacking my stamina. Reflect is gone. Grass is gone. I'm at plus three defense. Yeah, it's time to start body pressing. All right. Elka Panda, is this a crit? It is not a crit. GG. All right. The team did exactly what it was supposed to do, even through a three-turn Fire Claw sleep. <laughs> and Dragapult being the Terra I didn't want it to be. And Rillaboom having high horsepower. Just about everything that could have gone wrong did, and it still was fine. Great trainer card, though. Another score below 1500. Okay. Porygon 2, Garchomp, Sneasler, Golden Go, Incineroar, Amoongus. All of this support for Golden Go makes me think it's a nasty plot set, and that's bad for me. I do not like fighting nasty gold. Annihilate seems pretty good. I kind of also want Pelipper. I wonder about Greninja Pelipper. We'd be vulnerable to the fake out lead. That's the problem there. At least Pelipper would be. And I could definitely see a, a fake out lead because of the Grim Snarl. But I like Greninja here. Just who am I pairing it with? Annihilate? Have Sinistra in the back, and then finally... Maybe I should also have Arch. Like, Body Press does do a lot to everything not named Golden Go. And then I just don't have screens. That seems rough. But manageable. Especially because if it's Nasty Plot Golden Go and not Specs Golden Go, I don't think I need Light Screen as badly. Yeah, I think this might be okay. I do think they're tempted to bring Incineroar. Which makes Annihilate a powerful lead. That's a cool trainer card. I like it. Okay. Going good. Going good on the trainer cards. Sneasler Garchomp. Is this like... Terraflying plus Earthquake stuff? Uh, the main problem I see is... Sneasler being faster than Greninja. Other than that, no big deal. Let's Water Shuriken our own Annihilate, and I don't see a value in Terra. Rage Fist into Chomp. That seems fine. There's a Terra going on. Interesting. Is it Terra Flying Earthquake? Looks like it. Yeah, okay. That's interesting for sure. Now, did you fake out my Greninja? No. Perfect. Uh, do you have Acrobatics? You didn't consume an item. Four hits. Five hits. Don't think I needed all those hits. Coaching! Ooh! That's scary. Better not be like Choice Band. A crit on Greninja. Ah! Poor Greninja. That's okay, we're gonna get rid of the guard top here. No, we're not. It just, it just, it's e it just lived? It just lived that for no reason? Okay. That's just a thing you can do, apparently. Let's Trick Room Protect now. Oh, what? Eh, Trick Room might not be the best play, but it's the play in front of me. But what? Okay, d 
just a super bulky ch I mean, it's at plus one defense, I guess. Dire Claw, no status, please. Thank you. Earthquake shouldn't be enough to take out Sinistra. And Sinistra gets a little bit of healing for itself. Now then the question is, Macha Gacha Rage Fist or Light Dew? I'm not too worried about Sneasler, honestly. I think I will Light Dew. Drain Punch the Garchomp. This also covers for like a double protect. Then I just get free help. Uh, Garchomp swap. Ooh, if it's Porygon 2, that'd be fun. Yeah, I love that. All right. Perfect. Attack rise, double perfect. Thank you, specially defensive Sinistra. Yummy! All right, we're playing it slow. But it's going all right. Co coaching the Porygon too. Cool play. Cool play. Maybe I don't get it, but it's a cool play. I'm gonna throw Macha Gacha now and just Rage Fist the Sneasler slot. Since Porygon 2 is now on the field, Rage Fist is basically safe into anything else. No Terra on the board either. So Porygon 2. If it has Terra Blast, it can't hit either of these with that. It might have like Ice Beam to pair with that though which could be bad into my Sinistra. It could be trying to reverse Trick Room here. I mean, that's a perfectly reasonable play. Sneasler Protect. Okay. Protect, reverse Trick Room. Protect, recover. Okay. Guess that's fine. your plan for plus one defense Porygon 2 to win the game? Maybe I can get a burn on Porygon 2. That would speed things up for me. Make things a little bit easier. Do I get the burn? Not yet. Someday soon. Don't you worry. It is two turns of Trick Room left. I also have our Chaladon in the back. Who can be okay. Really want to know who their last is. Let's go Macha Gacha again and Rage Fist, because I think, think Sneasler is probably Sash. Nothing comes into this combo safely, so you should lose a slot this turn, as long as Macha Gacha connects. Uh, double Protect? That's reasonable, honestly. Ice Beam into Sinistra does do a lot. Since I'm hitting two things with Macha Gacha, I'll heal a little bit. I always have the play of swapping it out next turn. That would give me more hospitality. It did do a decent chunk of damage, though. And goodbye, Sneasler. It has Ice Beam. It probably also has Terra Blast. Terra Blast, Ice Beam, Trick Room, Recover. That's a pretty normal set. Who do you go into? Do you go into your Amoongus finally? You show me Golden Go. Ooh. I don't mind seeing Golden Go. A Terra on this thing. Dragon. Right, 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 right. I want to Rage Fist that Golden Go. It probably will protect this turn. Swap into Arch. <laughs> and just try to Rage Fist Golden Go. Like, who knows? Maybe they are choice. I'm pretty sure they protect here, but... If not, I can play Terra games. They didn't terrestrialize the Golden Go. That's great. Now, oh, they froze my Archaladon. That's not so great. 
Our child on the shivering is now frozen. And they're actually slow. And so I lose my Annihilate. That could not have gone worse. Uh, I now lose this. Oh, they're a life orb. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't think they would KO me. Well, they knew they were slow. That's why they went for that play. Golden Go should not be that slow normally. Hospitality. That's hot tea. That should un that should thaw. That should thaw you. It doesn't. It should. I have no chance against this Golden Go, right? I will Dragon Pulse Matcha Gacha into it, but I'm probably not going to be able to move. Matcha Gacha thaws, but I can't target it at my own Archaladon. It being a spread move for the opponents and all. Yep, yeah, there's a nasty plot. It's pretty free. Unless I have Shadow Ball. But I don't, and you know that now. Can I get a burn? Can I get any burns? Any burns. You gotta freeze, I can get a burn. No, I cannot. Okay. What can I even do here? Well, I'll still try to Dragon Pulse, and... Rage Powder in case they click Shadow Ball here? Arch is still frozen. Yeah, what am I supposed to do? Oh, that Shadow Ball into... Maybe I should have been more careful. I just assumed I would be slower. But they are a Trick Room looking team. Th this is the part where I'm gonna forfeit. It's gonna... Oh, yeah, now they get to go first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm out of here. Good game to my opponent. Uh, I think that Shadow Ball into Annihilate and them being slow was actually more impactful than the Freeze. So maybe I could have played this better. Maybe I could have Terrastalized that turn with Annihilate to be safe. Either way, GG. Here's the problem with playing low ranks. I'm one win, one loss, and I'm now below 1500. There we go. Someone above 1500. They've got Porygon 2, Amoongus, Garchomp, but also Water Tauros, Tyranitar, Corviknight. That's cool. I think this is finally time to put Pelipper in. Not in the lead, though. Maybe it's a simple Greninja Archaladon Pelipper. Get the defenses stacked. They have mostly physical attackers, like physical, 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 Amoongus, Porygon 2. Porygon 2 can be a decent special attacker. Amoongus is not really an attacker, period. And then Sinistra. If I get the defense boosts, I don't feel the need for screens. Our Chaladon being Terra Grass is fine. I think, I think that's good against most of them. They don't seem to have a fake out. They have a redirection in Amoongus. That would be the one thing that can stop Greninja from doing its thing. We could always taunt it and then redirect next turn if we're still alive. We would taunt it, prevent the redirection, water shuriken next turn. Uh, yeah, let's give that a shot. Sinistra so definitely comes to this. It can do alright on its own. It's a spore immunity. It's not great on its own. There's just a lot of burn targets over there, and the healing would be important. If I'm gonna put all of my cards on Archaladon, then we want to have healing for it. Three... Two, one. Hurry up, Julian! I want to see your trainer card. Alright. So far, trainer cards have been great. So don't let me down, Julian. I know you got this. You got this. You got this. Let's go. Blue Zangoose. Yeah. Love it. Alright. Whoa. Cool outfit. There is an Amoongus on lead. Alright. What do we taunt the Amoongus? Terra Grass? Dragon Pulse. And hope Greninja lives to tell the tale. They wouldn't Earthquake here. I was planning on Terra Grassing anyway. This Terra Grass, by the way, is for the Garchomps. 
round moves. It's not for Amoongus. Although, Rage Powder would still apply this turn, by the way. It's kind of for the Amoongus. Oh, they did go for Rage Powder. Okay. Okay, so it's kind of for the Amoongus. That wasn't, like, my whole intention there. That was just to take ground moves, but it also stops the redirection. And Swords Dance. Oh, you thought you were safe. You're not. Um, will this take out? Probably not. No. I can Icy Wind to take you out. Water Shuriken, that might do it. Um, I'm so tempted to just side Water Shuriken now. Because, like, I could Icy Wind. They could also protect their Garchomp. I'm going to side Water Shuriken. And body press the Garchomp just in case it like swaps. Okay, Amoongus swaps. That's not weird. Brarmor. Okay, so if I Icy Winded, I would get a speed drop myself. And here they go. Yeah, they're Terrasalizing, so Icy Wind versus Steel would not KO. Alright, the Icy Wind play wouldn't have worked. I think I went the right way. Even if I do, they might Earthquake here, take out my Greninja. That's fine, Greninja has done its job. It shut down the Amoongus lead. And it got me to plus two. Plus three. Plus four. I wonder if they think they can live Dragon Pulse from here too. Body Press will cover for that. Just four, okay, that's fine. And Earthquake, oh, plus five, thank you. Greninja lives that. Let's go Greninja! Okay, didn't see that coming. Now if you got a Moongus still, I'm gonna taunt it again. Or I could just bring in Pelipper and start electroshotting stuff, because that Corviknight needs an electric move in its face. You may have Tyranitar. You don't have Tyranitar, good to know. Porygon 2 cannot terrestrialize anymore. Special attack rows? Yeah, that thing needs to go. Okay. Plus 5 body press. Plus a water shuriken, maybe? That might do it. I could taunt the Porygon 2. That doesn't seem very useful. I could taunt the Corviknight. That seems useful. Okay. Taunt, Corviknight, Body Press, Porygon 2. Now, if Porygon 2 lives, which it very well might, and gets like a plus one Ice Beam into me, and if that's enough to KO, that would not be good. I'm worried about Corviknight going for like Bulk Up, or Iron Defense, or Tailwind. Don't want any of that happening. Oh, it's almost there. I think I should have Water Shuriken. Okay, they did go for Tailwind. And this Ice Beam is gonna hurt, but we're all right. Here's where we bring in Sinistra to heal up the Archaladon. And I guess... Dragon Pulse is a little better into P2. Just like, because Amoongus could swap in there is all I mean. I wouldn't want Amoongus to come in and like, be Rocky Helmet. And then I, and then I take Body Press damage and do not very much because it resists. Yeah, it is swapping. Okay, that's fine. Next turn, I will Electroshot your Corviknight. You've got a shiny... You've got a shiny Amoongus, but it's in a Great Ball. Ooh. Now, this needs to crit to KO. It doesn't. Perfect. An Amoongus... Amoongus could have, like, Sludge Bomb or something. But I can bring in Pelipper... Finally. Make sure I do it on the right slot. Switch in Pelipper. Electro shot. The Corviknight. 
That was a lot of damage. Yeah, if the Amoongus has something like Sludge Bomb or Clear, oh, clear Smog would be annoying too. But I'm about to take out your last physical attacker anyway. I don't really need the defense to this anymore. Sludge Bomb might be able to take me out from here, is what I'm saying. But then I have a Specs Pelipper left. So am I really in trouble? Goodbye, Corviknight. And what do you got, Amoongus? Polyclub? I don't think that KOs. Nah, we're fine. We're fine! Well, if 7 HP means fine, we're fine. I could swap back to Sinistra and just have Archaladon be the only Pokemon who's done damage in this game. But instead, I want to use Specs Hurricane. And body press before I got to. Rage powder is not gonna affect my body press. And the hurricane was going after you anyway. Specs hurricane, get out of here. You don't take that. You might be EV to live a timid hurricane, but not not a specs timid hurricane. Body press. Good job, Greninja. Greninja impressed me here. Got the water shuriken. Taunt was really useful. Lived a plus two earthquake for some reason. I don't know why. I don't think it's supposed to do that. Anyway, GG. Ooh, a 1600. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, Garchomp and Tyranitar. Gotta get rid of that weather. But they also have Sneasler, Golden Go Amoongus. Don't like that combo. And a bird? Kill a Watchroll? Kill a Watchroll. Kill a Watchroll's faster than Greninja. Uh, Water Shuriken games are pretty good. There's not much our Chaladon fears as long as we can get the rain up. So I think I go that route with Pelipper Sinistra. Because I want the rain to get rid of their weather. I want the Sinistra for the healing. I want the Greninja for the damaging my own Archaladon. Light screen doesn't seem that important. Um, I guess the scariest thing would be... Uh, well, Golden Go is scary still. I can't deny, Golden Go is really scary. But I need Pelipper and Archaladon to handle that. Could this be Annihilate's game? I don't love Annihilate, but Grimmsnarl Annihilate kinda works. It might not be the best. I could see them having Fake Out on their Sneasler, which would be bad for Grimmsnarl. This is definitely a game where I wish I could have screens, because like if I Terra Arch, which they have multiple things that can hit me to force me to Terra, then Make It Rain can hit me, and Air Slash can hit me, or I don't think they would have Hurricane in, in, on a Sand team. I don't see them having Rain on that team. <gasps> no Trainer card? Well, you lose. You lose the day. No Trainer card. Mm, 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 mm. Kill a Watchful and a Moon. Okay. So, Redirection is a problem. Kilowattrel is a problem. I could Terra Ghost, but then I've committed my Terra. Just to live a Thunderbolt. Which might not be the worst. To live a Thunderbolt and get a Taunt off. Then I can Water Shirt the next turn. Uh, do I want to save Terra for anything else? I do want to on Arch a little bit, but I think this is the play. I think I need to Terra Ghost onto Moongus. Get some chip on Kilowattrel. If this is a spore, then Punch should stop it. If this. I, I, I'm covering for like Thunderbolt into Greninja and Rage Powder, so I really can't get Water Shirt again. Yeah, it's Rage Powder so that I can't side Water Shuriken. That's fine. And just get I don't care about Tailwind. Who needs speed? You didn't even Thunderbolt me. I can do the thing next turn now. 
Yeah, my Dragon Pulse gets redirected, whatever. Now I'm gonna Water Shuriken to the side and Dragon Pulse the Kilowattle. I do think, I think Dragon Pulse would still be stronger than a plus four body press into a not very effective. So that's the play there. Amoongus could swap. I could call an Amoongus swap and try to like body press that slot, but then the swap could be Golden Go. Golden Go probably fears my Greninja a little bit though. Um, I have to remember they have Tailwind up, so whatever comes in next will be outspeeding Greninja. Amoongus shouldn't, but whatever. I don't want an Icy Wind either while Kilowatt was still exists. A Terra? The Kilowatt? Are you fairy? Fighting Terra Blast. Of course you've got Fighting Terra Blast Kilowatt. Why didn't I see that coming? Of course you have that. Why wouldn't you have that? Oh boy. Um, with no boosts at all, we should live it. There's no way a Terra Blast from Kilowatt will KOs an Archaladon with Assault Vest. So we'll, we'll be alive. I won't be happy with how much damage we take. Oh my goodness. Fighting Terra Blast Kilowatt. Wow, that was a lot. Oh, it was a crit? You also crit it. So you're telling me that was gonna do like half or less. And clear smog doesn't affect my Archaladon? Maybe you didn't know that. Caledon. I think Water Shuriken takes Kilowatt. Okay, so we're gonna just throw Water Shuriken and Kilowatt. Assume that's enough. And who's the switch in? Nothing that wants to take a body press. Uh, they're Rocky Helmet. I don't want to take that. I'm gonna Dragon Pulse the Amunga slot. I do think Water Shuriken is enough. It might not be. Oh, Kilowatt swaps anyway. That's perfectly okay. I'll hit whatever this is. Tyranitar? Oh, don't be weakness policy, please. And Amoongus swaps. Show me Garchomp. I'm Dragon Pulsing. Eh, that's okay, too. That's okay. Just don't be weakness policy on this Tyranitar. Good, thank you. That is not very much damage, but remember, that's a Tyranitar. I wasn't aiming at a Tyranitar. Tyranitar can take hits really well. Dragon Pulse. Good damage into Sneasler. Okay. Now my question is, swap Sinistra to get Archaladon's health? or swap our Chaladon to get Rain and take out Sneasler with Water Shuriken. Oh, I think our Chaladon is still good in this game, I guess is the question. Yes. I think if I swap in Sinistra, I'll be at enough health to handle anything. And then... I'll body press the Sneasler slot. That feels more threatening than the Tyranitar. Overall. Tyranitar's gonna wanna swap at some point because of Weather Wars. I pr I'm pretty sure I live a close combat with all the boosts I've gotten now. I'm at plus five defense. Uh, no, I don't live. Because it's a crit! What? You already crit me once! Okay. And this is gonna be whatever the best move you have against the Nist is, of course. Yep, t there's a knockoff. Okay, Sinistra lives. Good job, Sinistra, I guess. It's 
Tailwind's gone finally. Greninja can be faster than them. I'm not sure how much use that's gonna be. <sighs> okay. There's still a way to win this. And it's with Pelipper. Pelipper the Sod. <laughs> Tyranitar is going to want to swap. Amoongus is really the only safe thing to switch in. I can bring Greninja in just to save Sinistra for one more thing later. And then I lock into a move. Do I lock into Hurricane calling the swap? Or do I just click Muddy Water, which should cover everything? I think this is a position where I need to click Muddy Water. That covers any combination of things they want to do. Kilowattle comes in. Unless you... Status my Pelipper here. If I connect both, that's two KOs. I don't think you KO for Ninja here, unless you, like, throw chop to there. Gyre Claw into the Pelipper. That makes sense. And you put me to sleep. Good night. Okay. I what? I water shuriken kill a watchroll and I'm asleep, so. Okay, that's plenty for killing off. A little KO earlier. I only need two in the rain, so without the rain, I would have only needed one and a half. Or th three, at most. Yeah, that, that's the way that works. Got it, got it, got it. Got it. And then just take out my Pelipper. Oh, thank you for taking out my Pelipper, at least. It's something. Amoongus. Yeah, they just redirect. Take out my Sinistra. Is that easy win KOC? Oh, it wouldn't. I need to taunt the Amoongus and hope they go after Greninja, I guess? It might. Gotcha, gotcha, get a burn, maybe? That crit was brutal. Oh my goodness. That double crit was brutal. I'm pretty sure I lived... I would have been so much more comfortable without either of those crits. Definitely needed both of them. And the sleep helped. I mean, maybe I still lose without the sleep. But two crits into sleep? Yeah, it happens. Alright, Water Shuriken the Sneeze with. Sure, the game's over, but does that mean I quit? No. All they have to do is bring in Tyranitar at some point and click knockoff. Hello, Tyranitar. Maybe I should have called that, but look how much my water shuriken did last time. Because now I take out Sneasler, then I go to the Moongus, they rage powder, and they not. And it's over. Okay. I will quit this one. <sighs> Sometimes that's just what happens. This team in particular that I'm using is highly vulnerable to critical hits. So it's not that they're going to happen more to me, though they are going to happen more to me since I play such long games. So they're going to happen more to me, and I'm going to feel them more. If your frail Pokemon gets crit and it would have gone down anyway, you don't feel it as much. Anyways, GG, go get a trainer card. Let's continue. Oh, versus another 1500. Just like me. Whimsicott. Cool. You have Nine Tails, Garchomp. That's a strong combo. Blood Moon, 
Sneasler, because who doesn't have a Sneasler? Me, and Golden Go. So Tailwind plus Golden Go, Tailwind plus Garchomp. Not really any Earthquake partners, maybe you just don't have Earthquake. Blizzard plus Earthquake. Lots of fun stuff you can do, lots of reasons for me to want screens. So I want screens. Who do I want behind screens? Do I want Annihilate, who can protect? Uh, there's not actually any redirection, but there's so many special attackers that I don't think Archaladon's the way. I think it's I think it's Annihilate. I think it's Annihilate, Grimmsnarl, Sinistra. Could be Pelipper. It's a ground immunity. It changes the weather. Could be it's not Greninja. No use for Haze. Icy Wind is okay as speed control. Could be Archaladon on its own, but there's so many threats to Archaladon on that team. Actually, they're really stacked against Arch. They got ground moves, fighting moves, and other ground moves. Ninetales if I want a Terra, Golden Go, which I hate to face if I'm not bringing rain. So I'll bring the Pelipper. Worst comes to worst, Terra Ground, Terra Blast with Pelipper. And, oh, cool, Shiny to Titan. Shiny to Titan, that was my first uh, Shiny in Scarlet and Violet. I think Kevin Pokesports was the same. Okay, Whimsicott and Golden Go versus my Annihilate Grimstone. Because of the Encore factor, I should not protect and I should not bulk up. I should Terrastalize Water since that's what I was planning to do anyway. It makes me a little worse into Sneasler, but so be it. I will Terra Water, Rage Fist, Golden Go, and set Light Screen. The question is whether I call their Terra and Drain Punch them. I don't think I do. Like, are they gonna Terra Steel? Very likely so. But it's not a guarantee, so I shouldn't Drain Punch yet. And yeah, they did Terra Steel, so I could have clicked Drain Punch. Like, in this scenario, Terra Steel is so obvious, but it's fine. Getting Light Screen up, and then a 100 power Rage Fist into them, lowering the special attack, presumably, because I don't think you would Terra for, like, Nasty Plot here. Maybe. Yeah, just setting Tailwind to make sure you're faster. I could be faster, but... I might not have been. You might not have had to do that at all. And make it. Glad I have a Terra that resists that, but it's still gonna hurt. But Grimstone will find it done, yeah. yeah. Ooh, Annihilate actually doesn't really care too much about that. Interesting. Not as strong as I thought you were. And here's a 100 Rage Fist. I don't think they feel the need to go to Sinistra yet, and because they're locked into a minus one rate, make it rain, Pelipper can come in here. Pelipper can make something happen. I think still Rage Fist into Golden Go is fine. And then, if I weather ball an incoming nine tails, that's not great. Hurricane hits everything. Rage Fist, Golden Go. Hurricane the Limbs Cat. Yeah, that's fine. Golden Go swaps. I mean, if it's nine tails, I'm not like too upset, you know? Freeze Dry could be annoying, though. Moon Blast into my Pelipper, that doesn't do too much. Okay, thank you, Light Screen. Special Attack Drop, no thank you. But oh, Connecting Hurricane, that's big. Is the cat gone? Oh, it is. Oh, bye. See ya. Good riddance. And then a 100 Rage Fist into Nine Tails, and I no longer have to worry about Encore. That's nice. Ooh, it does half. Very nice. 
Do I leave in Pelipper? Probably not. I think it's time for Sinistra to come in. Golden Goat could come in and Thunderbolt something. Wouldn't like to see that. I could swap Pelipper out and protect. I'm allowed to protect now. They have speed control, but they were always going to be faster, mostly? Most of their team's faster than most of my team. Yeah, it's Golden cool, Goat. In case they want to lock into, like, Thunderbolt or something, I do want to just protect Annihilate and swap. If they just click Blizzard, that would be really annoying. Their choice, they might they might have Thunderbolt. They choice into Thunderbolt and Blizzard can do half to my Sinistra, but behind light screen, I think I can take a Blizzard unless they're like specs. I don't think Blizzard is gonna be enough to two shot. Which means I should be able to redirect the next Thunderbolt and get a drain punch. And if they're just Aurora Veiling, they didn't do any damage to my Sinistra. Alright, let's see what you got. This protect is like just in case they go like specs freeze dry plus thunderbolt into annihilate that would take it out there's freeze dry that might be specs and golden go you got thunderbolt not a ball good call but we live and so we redirect the freeze dry and drain punch the golden go Yeah, I think that's the right way. So then Annihilate taking a Shadow Ball, not as big of a deal. Especially because Brain Punch is coming right after it. So then we just have Pelipper against this Freeze Dry Nine Tails. Don't love that. Uh, it really depends on their last, and how it interacts with the field. And whether this is actually Choice Nine Tails. Uh, maybe not. Sinistra beat eight, eight that. <laughs> That's really good. And Annihilate doesn't even have to take damage this turn. And based on that damage, Annihilate is gonna take a Freeze Dry. Pretty okay. Now, Freeze Trot. Freeze Dry plus, like, Blood Moon? Maybe not. <laughs> this tailwind is gone. This would be a great time for me to be Scarf Pelipper. And here's Ursaluna. Okay, so you freeze dry my Pelipper. And I Rage Fist your Ninetales. And then if for some reason you didn't freeze dry my Pelipper, your Ursa Luna gets obliterated. Yeah, that's the way. But the play here is definitely Freeze Dry Pelipper. Definitely. And there's nothing I can do about it. But if they don't go for that, like, they don't know I'm specs. I could potentially get that, but no. Freeze Dry the Pelipper. Then they lose the Nine Tails. Then we're playing games of Monkey versus Bear. And I have Light Screen. And a Healing. I'm guessing Blood Moon here. Because this turn I pretty much had to attack. Yeah, I, I couldn't have gotten away with Protect there. They can get away with Protect, though. Well, not exactly, because I can bulk up on the on their protect. Brain Punch does over half, we're good. Yeah, Hyper Voice, no chance at KOs. We're all set. Annihilate wins this endgame. Hyper Voice, not so bad. And Drain Punch. Back in winning. <laughs> good try. Good game to my opponent. It was a little more KO for KO trading than I would have liked, <laughs> uh, but it all worked out. I, everything was in the right sequence for my Annihilator.
GG, that, I mean, that was a scary team. That was scary close too. Freeze dry nine tails. GG. 1487. Stop giving me low ratings. Tyranitar Garchomp, Rillaboom Incineroar, Primarina Dragonite. All right, let's stop losing to low ratings. Not that a low rating means you're bad, but this is a very solid team here. Could have got unlucky like me. All right. Pelipper does not do much other than turn off the sand. That is five physical attackers. I've never seen a more Archaludon game. Greninja, Archaludon, Sinistra. And then honestly... Grimstarl doesn't seem great. It might just be Pelipper. Like, Pelipper can hit something. It can come in, hit something, go down, whatever. It'll do some big damage. Even if it just hurricane and assault Vez Dragonite or whatever. Uh, I do have to worry a little about Haze Primarina, which means I should get my Electro Shot going. So Pelipper needs to come. If I see a Fake Out lead... Uh, where do I want my Terra? Do I want to Terra Arch? I'm 50-50 on it. It doesn't change most of the matchups. The one it would change the most is Garchomp. But if I get my defense boosts right away or Garchomp isn't on the field, then maybe I can consider a Terra on Greninja to avoid a fake out. <gasps> no trainer card! What are you doing? What are you doing out here with no trainer card? Tyranitar, Garchomp. Okay. Well, that means I don't need to spend Terra on my Greninja. I can just Water Shuriken. And I can... Who's scarier? Garchomp, probably? Not if I Terra, but Water Shuriken and Terrastalize. I'm really not scared of Garchomp. I'll go Body Press and the Tyranitar. Sure, it's probably gonna Terra or it's gonna swap, but I'm gonna force it to do that. If you wanna just leave a Tyranitar in here as a Tyranitar, you're gonna be in trouble. Archimudon Terran first, so it's not Chomp Terran. And it's not Tyranitar. See? See? I forced it out of them. Well, I, I tried to force it out of them. I, I told them they should Terra. They decided not to. Now, they could be faster than Archimudon, then. Not sure how much it's gonna help them, unless they're like special. So now I've got, what was that, four? Five? Five times. And Sword Stance Garchomp. Fine. Fine. I will Icy Wind you down later. Body press. Bonk. Fight. Would I be faster than Garchomp after an Icy Wind? Garchomp is what, 169 max? It would come down to 112 after an Icy Wind. I don't remember my Archaladon. I think my Archaladon's slower than that. I think a Swords Dance Garchomp would probably be clearing of it anyway, so it's not like it's gonna matter. And here's Dragonite. Okay. I think I want an Icy Wind anyway. Archaludon, 109. Yeah, we can't catch it. But, we can still Icy Wind and Do I want to go for a Body Press into the Garchomp? Do I want to go for a Dragon Pulse into the Dragonite? I want to go for Dragon Pulse. I want to double down into the Dragonite. Icy Wind, 4 times super effective on both. That Dragonite looks like it's multi-scale. Dragonite gets a speed drop, and Garchomp gets a speed drop. That's nice. And they're not max speed because I outsped the Garchomp at minus one. Cool. Bye, Dragonite. Still no Terra for my opponent. You know I have super effective moves, right? Fire Fang, plus two. No burn? No burn. Okay, good. Burn does have the damage of Body Press, so I would not like to be burned. 
Alright, this combo's working. Go for ninja. Oh, Primarina. Hi, Primarina. I'm gonna taunt the Primarina so it cannot haze. And body press the Garchomp to cover for if it terastalizes. Because I would like to Dragon Pulse the Garchomp, but body press probably KOs, and if it Terra's. Okay, they're still not terastalizing. Maybe they forgot to pick up the Terra Orb. It happens. Good bonk. Oh, you're still alive. Well, yeah, you're not max speed, so you're bulky. I guess that makes sense. And your Rocky Helmet? Oh, jeez. That took too much damage that turn. Bye, Greninja. Dragon Tail. Cool tech. Could, probably should have done that earlier. And who do you bring in? Sinistra so I can't heal anything? Pelipper! Yep, that'll KO the Garchomp. Since it got Icy Winded, we're faster. All good. And then I'll bring in our Chalodon, which we already saw was faster than Pre Marina, and Electro Shop Pack. Should be good. Electro Shot the Prim. A lock. Hurricane into Garchomp. It's better on the Pre Marina afterward. Now you really should tear a pre marina, right? Maybe they just don't know how to tear. Maybe they don't have the Terra Orb. So if I had Dragon Pulse, I would have taken out the Garchomp then, yeah. Not had to deal with the Dragon Tail. Okay. Still no Terra. I'm not very special attack invested, so Pre Marina can live this electro shot. Especially if they're invested. The way this guy's team is built, I don't know what to expect. Swords Dance, Dragon Tail? No Terra on anything? Who knows what this Pre Marina is built like? It could be like. No, oh, he yeah, lived. Okay, that's about what I expected. Pretty normal. And takes out Arch. Fine. Archaludon, you did great. Take a break. We'll send in Gourmet Sinister to finish out the game. The hospitality didn't go off, and this Machigata won't go off, because Hurricane's gonna go first. I guess if the Hurricane is resisted, I guess they could, like, protect and kill. Wait, they still don't Terra! Okay. Fine. I'm just saying they could, like, protect until Hurricane can miss, and then I don't have any moves that can't miss, and then they can win that way, but that would be such small chance. And with no trainer card, the game would never give them that. Four, still in the 14s. I gotta stop playing after this one. I'm gonna take a break after this. Remind me to take a break after this. If you're watching and, I, and this isn't the last video, yell at me. All right, Zork, female Indeedy, Murkrow Garchomp, King Gambit Amoongus. Actually, that's terrifying. I'm really scared by this because I don't want to fight a Zork that I thought was a Garchomp or something. They have redirection, so Greninja isn't the best. They have double redirection, so maybe Taunt is good. Archaludon seems like it would be okay. There's just one thing's gonna be immune to body press, and I don't know where it is. Annihilate doesn't like fighting Indeedee. Oh, and we don't like fighting Murkrow either, huh? I wonder if Greninja Pelipper ever works here. Uh, I think I'll go Greninja Arch Pelipper Sinistra here. But I'll have to play carefully, because there's a lot of ways this can go. I gotta worry about Haze Murkrow getting rid of my boosts. I gotta worry about Indeedee and Amoongus redirecting. I gotta worry about Zorok being on lead and blowing something up before I'm ready. And then there's Garchomp. I'm not too scared of Garchomp. Garchomp's really common, and I'm mostly prepared for it. Doesn't mean it can't get out of hand. Remember the Zor. Good trainer card. Remember, Zork exists. Either one of those could be a Zor. All this tells me is they brought Garchomp and they brought Murkrow. I could. 
could harden Pelipper and Electro Shot toward the Murkrow with Terra. I think our Chaladon lives anything, and if Murkrow is Zork, that's fine. Yeah, this covers for if they are what they say they are. I, I don't think Water Shuriken is the play. They showed me they brought Murkrow. So they can haze at any time. They could even haze the same turn I water shuriken since I'm faster than Murkrow. But that would be a little bit too much to call. But this way, if Zor... Oh, they're terrestrializing. The Garchomp? Into Steel. Uh, that, that is the Garchomp. Okay. Steel Garchomp is fine. That's not an offensive boost. My Terra Grass Arch should be able to take anything from that. And then maybe I delete Murkrow. Um, if they called this in Sunny Day, that would be quite the play. But then I just get the Electro Shot next turn. It's not a huge deal. And plus then I would have Fire Weather Ball with the Garchomp. Murkrow went for Thunder Wave, but Arch dodged. Okay, introducing a little bit of Hacks. And Earthquake. Okay, these are what they say they are. They probably didn't bring Zora. And a, two boosts on our Chaladon. A defense boost, and here comes a special attack boost. If this takes out Murkrow, they can't get rid of those. Garchomp is life. Thunderwave Murkrow. I guess that makes sense. You don't really need the speed control in this match since your team is mostly fast to mine, so just get a little hacks off the Thunderwave. Murkrow lives because it's Sash. Alright, let's not use Electro Shot. They could Sunny Day or something. Not too concerned about Pelipper being in trouble. Maybe I should Weather Ball to Garchomp. Nothing really wants to come in on that. They already used Terra. Nothing wants to come in on a gets body press the Murkrow. Seems weird, but I don't want like King Gambit to come in. Just going for Tailwind. Okay, you're sick of Thunder Wave misses. You want speed control. You're worried my Pelipper is going to set speed control. That's why they Tailwinded. But I'm not Tailwinding. I don't have it. Should I be Scarf with Tailwind? That might be better on this team, honestly. But that play would have covered for that. Because they went with Tailwind, they now lose their Murkrow and can no longer Haze. So Greninja Arch, if I can position it, can become a thing. I could even pull Arch out right now if I wanted, heal up the Pelipper with Sinistra a little bit. Um, oh, there's a Body Press target. And they brought Zork? No way! Okay, let's... In that case, let's... Huh. They brought Zorg in the back. If they had swapped those in in the other order, they would have both appeared to be King Gambit, but you would know which one is which because they have to send in the Zorg first for it to appear as King Gambit. Uh, I'm going to go for a Weather Ball on Zorg and a Body Press on the King Gambit. Hyper Beam! That's awesome. <laughs> I can respect Hyper Beam. Now, am I gonna get Kowtow cleaved because of the Tailwind and then lose my Pelipper and then lose the game? Wait, did I lose? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hyper Beam was not something I was expecting there. I don't have anything left for King Gambit. I don't have anything at all for King Gambit. I have Water Shuriken into it, and then... Yeah, I can Water Shuriken the King Gambit. And Matcha Gacha. I can hope I get a burn. 
And then for the Zork, either I can hope they're locked into Hyper Beam. And then Sinistra would win against them. Or I can maybe take them out with Macha Gacha into Water Shuriken. But yeah, Water Shuriken's not gonna do much. I do have the rain at least. This would be the time to have Hydro Cannon. Five hits. Does about a quarter. Zork recharge. Cow Chow Cleave. Whew. We barely live. And we really need a burn. Good damage to the Zork. It does not look like we're gonna heal out of Kowtow Cleave range. Oh, we got the burn! We got the burn! Finally, it's looking up. All right. Okay, that's, that's the way to go. All right. It looks like to me that Zork will go down to Water Shuriken. So I'm gonna Water Shuriken their Zork. And go for another Macha Gacha. One. Oh yeah, that'll be plenty enough. Two. Three. Greninja getting a KO. Against the Mon I featured in my last GC. Now we should definitely live a Cow Cow Queen. With the burn. Thank you, Sinistra. Macha Gacha. Unfortunately, the rain is ending, but that burn saved the day. Could Greninja have won in the end without the burn? Like, what, we go down there to Kowtow Cleave? And then we get to start using Water Shuriken? Maybe we win anyway. I don't know what their final move is. And I'm gonna life do just in case they try to sucker punch. Yeah, battle's just canceled. GG. Kinda wish I knew their moves. But if it was all dark, I think we won anyway. We're back. Part 1, 5 and 2 with Greninja. I'll take it. Those two losses were rough. There was Freeze, there was Dire Claw Sleep, there was Archaladon getting crit twice in a row. Who out there with a Terra Blast fighting Kilowatt Troll? That's sick tech. Uh, but anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to watch the remaining parts. If they're out yet, they will be soon. Uh, but anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace. <laughs>